Greetings friends, very quick video on Sunday just to let you know this thing's been fixed and put back up. If I do ever get the minerals to do a redesign then the, the thing that I call the motor cage that holds the motor in that that really needs a uh, design and it's quite something to show my finger. But the, the metal thing that holds the uh, motor in would have to be redesigned really. The wind is only about 8 miles per hour. I would say at the moment it's not connected to anything so I decided to leave the two sets of blades on just to see how it does in the it's supposed to be getting 40 mile an hour gusts from about 10 o'clock in the morning so hopefully it'll get a, a good test and I'm still trying to work on the idea with the sand I just want to see if we can see any red dust where it's, it, it's heating it up a lot there you see. So I'm presuming that's got, even though it feels quite moist, you can see it's definitely a different colour. So I'll probably use this one. And the idea is that the heat is transferred through the sand and the bucket gets hot. Now I know it's a plastic bucket. If it works, I'll buy a metal bucket, but at the moment I don't have any money, so I can't really uh, waste any on anything. But for now, the power will go to the meter, and then these, oh, it's actually got a break on. Not really windy enough to make any difference, but anyway, that's what it's gonna be like. And it should be very windy. The interesting thing is, I was noticing the other day when it was really windy, there were six or seven hundred watts going to that constantly. So this is just a, an experiment I'm doing out of interest to see if we can get the sand really hot. And then if we can get the sides of the bucket hot as well, then if, if I'm going to use it, then I'll obviously replace the plastic bucket with a metal one, but I don't have any money at the minute. So yeah, that'll be the plan. So hopefully tomorrow, very windy. Cheers.